Hey, I'm Mark Tillerson uh, in this Google Merchant Center video, just talking about incorrect value identifier exists. So if you're having issues with this in Google Merchant Center, this video is for you. I'm just going to explain what that identifier exists issue is, what causes it and how you can fix it. So this is related to GTINs. There's a whole other video about GTINs, what they are, what you should do with them on our channel. And we'll link to that in the description here. So if you need some additional help to understand what those are, go watch that video I'm going to assume that you know what this is or you've seen that video working through this particular video so where does this come from so you first need to understand what a GTIN is global trade identification number it's a unique identifier that exists for millions of products around the planet so if you think about a book it has an ISBN number and that is unique to that book if you have a mobile phone it will have global trade identification number if you have a pair of specific Nike trainers they have an identification number okay Okay. Google has access to a massive database of those products and it knows which products have them and which products do not. If you are advertising products that do have a GTIN, you have to, not like optional, you have to declare it. Okay, so there are two fields that we, or two attributes, two fields in your data that we're concerned with here. One is the field called GTIN, and the second is identifier exists. So if we look at this particular product, basically it's been disapproved because it's violating a product policy of product data GTIN requirements. Effectively, what we're doing here, if we look down here, we can look in, uh, so you get this view here, you'll get information found on the site. This is raw feed. This is the data being submitted in the feed, which is coming coming directly from the WooCommerce store, okay? So what we're doing in here is we're not declaring a GTIN. It's not included, you can't see it. So it looks like this advertiser doesn't have the GTIN. Either it's not in the database or it is in the database, it's not being output in the feed. And then what we're doing is saying, identifier exists. So we're saying, does a GTIN exist for this product? And we're saying, false. No, no, there's no GTIN for this product. Honest, there is, okay? And Google is saying, right, number one, you have set identifier exists to false. I know, Google, I'm all seeing, I know there is a GTIN for this product and you've told me there isn't one. So basically the value in identifier exists should be true, not false, and you should be providing data for a GTIN. So it's basically saying this product has a GTIN, you need to declare the GTIN in your data or I'm not gonna let you advertise it on Google ads. So there's a whole bunch, a whole video about um, GTINs, as I say, we'll link to that in the description. So you need to find that GTIN data, basically it's the barcode of the product typically so as long as you got that ID from the barcode and you include that in your data in the GTIN and set the identifier exists field to true then you will solve this problem okay if you have other problems with this where maybe you are the manufacturer of this product and Google incorrectly has said well hang on a minute there's a GTIN for this actually you're saying no there isn't that is what this request review product so if you are incorrectly saying there isn't a gtin then google's going to pick you up on that and you have to include the gtin you have to update that field if you are correctly saying identifier exists is false and a gtin doesn't exist and you are not declaring one then you should go through this review process with google and have them review the product now the annoying thing is and i have a client right now that is advertising thousands i mean thousands of products where they do not have GTINs, but they're very similar. So basically they're a third party ink cartridge, like a compatible ink cartridge, and they don't have a GTIN. The original ink cartridges do have a GTIN, but these versions are not the manufacturer's one. So they're not HP ink cartridge. HP ink cartridge has a GTIN, the compatible one does not. So Google is picking up, oh, it's the HP ink cartridge that has a GTIN. And we literally, you can't just go, can you review the whole account? Because it's all nonsense. You literally have to open one one product at a time and request review request review so you just click on that yes I've done that and request the review that's all you do but just going back to the root cause basically this product Google thinks has a GTIN it is not provided in the data and then we are saying incorrect we're providing an incorrect value in identifier exists so this example particular example it does have a GTIN there should be an attribute set for GTIN with the correct GTIN data in it and the value in identifier exists should therefore be true so that should be true one line underneath should then say here is the GTIN or anywhere in that data but there should be a field in there that says GTIN is this got to make it correct and then identifier exists equals true and that will solve the incorrect value identifier exists 
problem. If that helps you out, really appreciate a thumbs up on the video. Thank you very much. Make sure you subscribe for more videos, Google Merchant Center, Google Shopping, and how to succeed with e-commerce online. But also, if you are stuck, if we've not answered the question here, or you're stuck with something else on Merchant Center, please feel free to ask away in the comments. We love to hear from you guys, really appreciate it. And we'll try and help you out, or maybe we'll do a video just for you.